I love tying knots. Um, it's one of my passions, one of the things I'm interested in, but I was really, really bad at tying knots. Way back when I went to New York Maritime Academy, we were tested. Mate McCoy was the instructor. He was very hard-nosed, very difficult to deal with, and he failed me numerous times. So, and I went out to the fleet and I learned new knots, and there were times when there were crew members' life at stake, and I struggled, struggled to tie even basic knots like the Bolin. So this is not a guide from someone there where it comes naturally. This is a guide for those people who struggle to tie knots. And I hope to teach you how to tie any knot with my simple five-step process. <laughs> but unlike an infomercial, this is, video is not going to cost you anything. So let's jump to it. The first thing you have to do to learn how to tie knots is pick a knot. Not a million knots, pick a knot. One single knot. See, this was the biggest mistake I made in the beginning. We got a list of knots that we had to learn in the semester, and I try one, and I think I master it, and I move on to the next, and I move on to the next, and that really confuses your brain. You need to pick one knot and stick with it until you are positively sure that you can tie it with your eyes closed behind your back in a stressful situation. That is the first big key. Do not, do not try to learn how to tie multiple knots at once. So how do you pick a knot? Well, you know, I love going first to uh, knot books, and this is my favorite knot book. This came with some paracord, which I love for tying knots inside of it. This is uh, Philippe Petit. He's the man who climbed uh, tight war rope, walked between the World Trade Center. There was a movie made about him. And this is just a really simple guide on how to tie knots. So the most dangerous knot in, in uh, all is, you know, square knot is the most dangerous knot in the world. It's killed more people than any other knot because it can easily be tied wrong and then capsized. So the first knot, you know, they're knots you got to learn on ship. Probably bowling is one, uh, round turn with two half hitches. But the one that people kind of forget about or amateurs don't really know about is the sheet bend or the double sheet bend. So in this book is great because it lies out and it's going to give you a couple pages on just the sheet bend. All right. Um, so that is so I'm going to read all of this. And then I am going to practice the sheet bend. So the sheet bend is simply you do a loop like this. You come through the loop and then pass through like that. And that is your simple sheet bend. All right. You want to try to do it based off of what the book tells you. And then you want to go online or there's an app, Grog's Knots or Animated Knots, I find is the best source. So let's go right there. Here's Animated Knots and you will see the sheep bend. And what's great about this is it'll walk you through the process of tying uh, went to the double sheep bend. Let's start at one and walk you step by step. And then you can do it left-handed if you want or right-handed. So that's a great resource. And you're going to walk through each of the steps until you fully understand how to do that knot, right? Um, so that's the first key. Once you have a good, solid understanding of how you do that knot, you want to take a piece of paracord about the length of your arm. And this is going to be your best friend for the next week or two. If this goes everywhere you go. You need this paracord and you need to take it absolutely everywhere. When you wake up in the morning, you grab it, you practice a few. When you go to breakfast, you practice a few. When you're in the head, when you're, if you're going shopping, if you're at a kid's little league game, go and you're not going to practice multiple knots. Again, that's where people make a mistake. All you're going to practice every day is the sheep bend until you can close your eyes and do that knot blindfolded behind your back. 
All right. And it's going to take a minimum of three days. It could take a more complicated up to two weeks, right? Where you are fully confident, you know that knot. Once you fully know that knot, what you're going to do next is you are going to look for the variance of that knot. Almost any knot has number of variants. I'm going to show you in this book, this is the ultimate source. All right. This is the definitive guide of knots, and it's going to have the most number of variants in this. So we can go right here and we can look up sheet bend. I should have done this before, page 9, page 17, 18. Unfortunately, this is a common knot. So it's going to be able to, here's a description of it. Uh, and then if we go back to page nine, again, because it's so important, there are going to be variants on the sheet, uh, on the sheet bend, right? So if we go back um, to Grog 2, we can see the first variant is called the double sheet bend bend so let's go to the double sheet bend here and we can walk through what the double is so a double is the single but you just go around one more time looks easy enough right looks fairly simple and i'm going to show you we go through we go around once and we go around again. All right. Fairly simple to do. That's what we learned. Now, this variant, you each variant, and some knots may have five or six variants. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to wake up in the morning, and you're going to practice the original knot plus the new variant all day, every day, in the morning, at night, in lunchtime, Whatever time you can squeeze out, you're going to carry this P chord with you and you're going to act as that variant. So step one was pick one knot, only one knot. Step uh, two was learn it through the book and online, uh, animatedknots.com. Step three is practice, practice, practice. Step four is learn the variations on that knot. Don't try to learn variations on a different knot. Learn that variation. Step five, final step. Count how many days it took you to learn all the variants with your eyes closed behind your back, and you need to be able to do it in a stressful situation. So if you find yourself in stress, grab, remember, you'll always have that P chord. All right? You want to also teach other people. That's a good way to learn. Any way you can do to practice that in different situations under different lighting, different ways, reverse it, try it the left-handed way until you can do every way possible. Count the number of days. So it took me, I'm a little slow, the sheet bend with the double sheet bend and the variance took me six days. All right, so I started, say, on April 6th, 1st, and I end on April 6th. Well, I have to double that. So it took me six days, add that to the calendar, so I got to continue tying knots till April 12th. You want to double that and don't try anything else. If you already learned a knot, you can practice it a little bit only learn one knot at a time so pick one knot learn it by book and online practice 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 so you can do it blindfolded behind your back in a stress situation left-handed right-handed uh, and bring that cord everywhere step four learn the variation step five count the number of days it took you to learn that and double it and practice only that knot all right so that's how professional mariners learn to tie knots and you can learn to tie complicated knots that way too. I hope this has been somewhat helpful. I am Captain John Conrad, CEO and founder of the website gcaptain.com with this daily maritime tip. Take care.